What more can you tell us about RG3 getting the start for Washington against Minnesota? This was a decision the Redskins made earlier in the week. They had said that they wanted to evaluate RG3 in practice on Thursday and Friday before making a decision. But the truth of the matter is there's no reason for them to let it slip out in advance to give Minnesota any type of heads up in its preparations as to which quarterback the Vikings will be facing on Sunday in Minnesota. But it is RG3, and it feels like a long time since we last saw RG3. He missed the final three games last year. Then, as you mentioned, hurt in week two early on in that contest. He has not played since then. And when he dislocated that ankle, the initial timeline was six to eight weeks. This falls right within that timeline of six to eight weeks. And I think the surprise here is that Colt McCoy come on and played fairly well for Washington, leading the Redskins to two straight victories over the Titans and at Dallas against the Cowboys. And a lot of people felt that with the Redskins bye coming up next week that the team might give RG3 one more week to rest that dislocated ankle, and then he would have two weeks off because of the bye. But the team felt he's ready now. He looked good Monday night in warm-ups before the game against the Dallas Cowboys, and the team figured there was no reason to wait any longer. It was time to turn back to RG3. Adam, how much do you think getting that win Monday night and, and having this momentum played into having RG3 start now? I don't think it played into it at all. I think, if anything, it made it that much tougher for Washington to make that move right now because Cole McCoy showed a tremendous amount of poise and savvy. He showed that the stage was not too big for him. He went out there and played very well against a tough Dallas defense in a hostile environment and still led the Redskins to an overtime victory. If anything, I think that makes the Redskins' decision tougher. But the fact of the matter is, this is RG3's team. He is the face of that franchise. He is healthy. He has been running around. He practiced today in full. And when you're practicing today in full, what's the sense in even waiting? If you're good enough to practice in full, you're good enough to play in the game, and that's exactly what the Redskins felt, and that's why RG3 is starting on Sunday against the Vikings.